Hey everybody, this is Dutch. Um, this is my second video, or second or third I have on here about hiking stuff. I'm gonna try to get more videos out this year with hiking and hunting and fishing and stuff. Um, today, we, uh, it's first Sunday in December. We're on our way up to Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. Uh, me and the boy, we're going up there. I remember going there when I was a kid in elementary school and absolutely loved it. Um, and then uh, the wife and I were up in that area because little man had a birthday party up, up near there and the wife and I went up and did a little hike and explored a little bit and thought it was wonderful and uh, it took a couple months but we found a time for me and him to go and we're gonna, me and him are going to go up and check it out. I think he's going to really enjoy it. He got like a lot, a lot of wildlife stuff there and mounts and skulls and place you can sit and look out over the water and use these big binoculars and look at the geese and look at the wildlife. So we're on our way up there. It's a little bit under an hour from the house. So yeah, we'll be back when, when we get there. All right, just got to the Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. We're here at the museum. You can see the museum over there. We're going nuts around in there a little bit, take some pictures and then we're gonna go for a hike up over this way. Okay. <laughs> The uh, museum was closed. Apparently they're closed from Thanksgiving through, hold on a second. Something, let me flip this camera around. I guess they can't watch tapping. There's uh, something got attacked here. You can see the feathers. Fox or something got a bird probably. Anyway, the museum is closed, so we're just gonna go for the hike. I don't know if you can see it behind. See the lake back there and stuff. So yeah, they're closed Thanksgiving through February 1st. So we'll have to come back this spring and check it out. We're on the conservation trail. I don't think it's real long, mile or two. So off we go. Tristan's leading the way. Well, well here we are. There's a huge lake over there, which is, there's no geese over there, but I don't see. Well, we're gonna continue walking. Mm -hmm. I hear a couple of geese out there. Not too many. It's, it's primarily in the fall when they're migrating south, and in the spring they really come through here. There's a little hot spring over there. Oh, yep, I don't know if you can see that or not in camera. There's a bird house. Oh, no, there's some stuff. Oh, just continue. That's where we came from. And where are we going? Oh. You go first. There's no snakes. It's too cold. I know, but Still check though, just in case, with your pole, remember? We are coming down to the bottom of the little mountain we were up on. It's getting a little thicker. It's getting really thick, actually. We're just, so just cruising along here. Like Keep going, buddy. We might be maybe half a mile into our hike. So, having a good time. It's like ideal weather. Ideal weather. I mean, if, if we get hot, it's still cold enough, we can take some stuff off. It's about 45 degrees, I think. 
but yeah it's not too cold where where as you can see we don't have no gloves on it's, it's not too cold where you need gloves so it's good having a blast out here can't express enough how much i like hiking and being outside yep that's the vine i don't know what kind of vine i hope it ain't poison ivy and just come up just come up here on a little opening you can see behind me See the nest? I don't know if that's a nest. I think that's just some leaves that got stuck in them tight branches there. Squirrel nests are usually up a little higher. I don't see any right now. So, got a big old sycamore tree here behind me. He's, he's not as white as most of them, he's just white up top more. Unless that's not a sycamore tree. If that's not a sycamore tree, someone leave a comment and let me know so I don't keep looking like an idiot. Is it this one right here? Okay, we're going to keep on moving. Yes, that one right there, bud. This is the wooden bridge catwalk where we're walking. For those of you who are new to backpacking and hiking, a lot of well-maintained and well-groomed trails will have a boardwalk or bridge over lower lying marshy wet areas so you don't get muddy boots and wet feet and you can enjoy your hike. Okay, we are on our way home from Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. Had a nice little hike. I, out of one to 10, I rate that hike about six or seven. It's pretty good. Not, it could have been longer, a little more scenic. what do you think, Tristan? How do you rate it? Eight. Eight, he really liked it. We went up to the Appalachian Trail over the summer and went four miles and he didn't like that one so much because we had a lot of weight on. Because we, we actually did an overnight trip and he didn't, he didn't like that one. Well, what do you think the Appalachian Trail was out of one to ten? Zero. A zero. <laughs> zero would be like if you got stuck in four feet of snow. Lazy bones. I think he's got lazy bones, and that's why I didn't like it. Anyway, this was a decent little hike. Too bad the museum wasn't open. I had trekking pole. That makes the difference. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We found him a little find him a set of ski poles that are perfect for his height right now and in a year or two when he grows out of them we're going to get him a set of legit trekking poles um yeah we're definitely going to come back up there this spring when it's open so we can see the museum and uh yeah great day it kind of got overcast there toward the end uh got a little bit chilly other than that yeah it was good good time really enjoy the outdoors Thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video. And if you feel real, real kind, you can even subscribe, maybe. This is Dutch. And that's Tristan. And uh, thanks for watching again. And until next time, get outdoors.